I think it's fair to say that almost everybody knows someone who's had cancer and they get personally affected by that and really want to give back. People in, in science, they really want to give back. And so it is personally rewarding for people to work you know, on a product that really has a transformative possibility in treating people and, and saving people's lives. And so I would say that the employees at Kite, and I, I'm sure this is true at other cell therapy companies too, they're really motivated and they really, we really believe in the products we're making and, and the transformative nature and how it's going to potentially impact people's lives. My name is Mark Better. I work at Kite Pharma. We're in Los Angeles, California. What we've been doing for the last few years is developing a uh, new therapeutic modality using CAR T cells to treat lymphoma and leukemia patients. The product is very effective at treating patients with previously untreatable lymphoma. And uh, we're very excited about bringing to the market a product to help these patients who really have no other therapeutic options at this point. So when I started at Kite in 2013, um, there really was no industry developing uh, CAR T cells. So CAR T cell, that stands for chimeric antigen receptor modified T cells. Um, we started working with an academic center at the National Cancer Institute in 2013. There were a handful of academic centers where patients were experimentally being treated. But what we started doing, and we really the first people to do this was figure out how to commercialize a product like that, and take it out of an academic institution and bring it to a larger, larger patient population. So when I started in 2013, there was no paved road for this. It was the Wild West with regard to figuring out how we were going to manufacture these products, bring them to the patients, etc. All previous trials have been single institution studies where the patients go to the institution, they'll make a clinical product and treat the patient right there. We started really the first group to start running a multi-center clinical trials um, with CAR T cells. We had no clear regulatory path, we had no clear manufacturing path, and so we we really developed it internally. And actually we're very proud of the fact that we were able to bring this, almost, we're almost to the market now. We're hoping to get approval by FDA later on this year. We'll see how that goes, but we're very optimistic and um, hopefully we'll be able to treat patients uh, either at the end of this year or the beginning of next. So it's, it's really exciting. Realistically, we, we filed our first investigational new drug application in December of 2014 and we started enrolling patients in our clinical trial in uh, the early part of 2015 and we were able to file a biologics license application or BLA with uh, FDA in March of this year. So a little more than two years from the IND to the BLA. It's really a remarkable path and I think the things that, that helped us along the way is that the regulatory agency, in the FDA in the United States and other counterparts worldwide have been so enthusiastic about helping sponsors develop these new therapeutic options for patients. So, you know, what we've been able to do independently, what we've been able to work through with the FDA and other organizations has just been remarkable. So yes, I think this is a really fast trajectory to bring new products to the market and offer patients with really incurable diseases a therapeutic option. So it's been very exciting to be part of it. I, I think um, when there's a potential paradigm shift in the way that patients can be treated, that uh, you know the regulatory agencies are very enthusiastic about helping. So things have gone quickly. Recently, uh, a similar product manufactured by Novartis uh, won approval by the FDA and they're starting to treat you know, children with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's very exciting. So we're, we're looking at treating uh, adults primarily with, uh, with lymphoma rather than uh, leukemia indication. But the drugs are very similar and I, I can't speak for Novartis, but I would imagine that they've uh, also worked collaboratively with the regulatory agencies to bring that product to market quickly. Um, I think this whole idea of immunotherapy and being able to have personalized medicine approach to treat cancer and other serious diseases, it is a paradigm shift. I think it's very exciting and 
you know, sponsors like, like Kite and others are really very interested in this approach. The government's very interested in the post, this approach. Um, the patients are interested in this kind of approach. And um, it's, uh, it, is, it is really a, a sea change in the way we're being able to treat uh, people with uh, really serious illnesses. What we do is we take the white blood cells from a patient who has you know, a particular disease, in our case, lymphoma. So we'll, we'll collect the white blood cells through a standard hospital procedure called uh, leukapheresis. That leukapheresis product is then sent to our central processing laboratory where we uh, purify the mononuclear fraction, so essentially the fraction that contains T cells from the individual. Uh, we then start activating those cells so they'll grow in culture and we introduce the genetic element for the car, this chimeric antigen receptor. It's a, uh, a new molecule. We genetically engineer the T cells so they express this protein on their cell surface. Uh, we grow those cells up until we have a therapeutic dose. Then we uh, wash those cells, freeze those cells and ship them back to the institution. And then the treating physician will then uh, infuse the patient with their genetically mod modified cells. Those cells then start growing in the body and they literally kill the tumor cells uh, very rapidly, usually within a month. You, if the product's gonna work in that individual, the uh, CAR T cells will kill the tumor. And uh, in many cases, the patients will uh, enjoy a complete response. Those complete responses are in, in many cases quite durable. So we're offering uh, you know, those patients another option that, that potentially, with our fingers crossed, could be curative. And um, that using your own white blood cells to treat your disease through genetic modification is uh, you know, an exciting immunotherapy modality, which is really attracting a lot of attention.